Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And I recently used a feature in Python that's not so new, but that really surprised the students in my corporate training. So I wanted to share it with you here because it is so incredibly useful, even though it's really simple. So let's say you want to assign uh, a really big number to X. So I want to assign it to be 1 billion. So I'll say 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And yes, that is a pretty big number. And so then I can like see X. Okay, so far so good. But if I want to go back in and say, oh, was this 1 billion or 10 billion? Oh, now I have to read through all these zeros and count them out. So here's the trick. The trick is that if you have an underscore in a number in Python, it's ignored completely. So I can say like this, oh, it's 1 billion, not 10 billion. You want to make it 10 billion? Sure, for you, we'll do that. Now, you'll notice a few things about this. First of all, when Python actually creates the integer and then prints it out for me, it doesn't keep the underscore. So the underscores are only for the input that we are putting there. Um, but that's still great, right? I use this all the time now, all the time. Another few things to know about it. What if I try to put the underscore at the beginning, one, two, three? Can't do that. Or how about x equals one, two, three underscore? Can't do that either. So it has to be in the middle, it has to be between the numbers. And by the way, why do you give me different error messages here? Here it says the name underscore one, two, three is not defined. And here it says invalid decimal literal. So this here is invalid. You're not allowed to have the underscore after the digits, fine. But here it's invalid because if you have an underscore as the first character in a variable name, the rest of the characters can actually be one, two, three. So this is a totally legitimate variable name identifier in Python, and Python is saying, I've never heard of this variable one, two, three before, underscore one, two, three before, what do you want from me? You also, if I try to say x equals one billion, for whatever reason, let's say I want to use a double underscore between them, yeah, Python won't let you do that either. You can only have one underscore between the digits and only inside of the digits. What if I try to do this with a non-decimal number? So if I say like x equals zero x, one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D. And yeah, that works fine. And if I add underscore, zero X, one, two, three, four, for whatever reason, A, B, C, D, see, works exactly the same way, it's just fine. What about a float? Well, if I say X equals one, two, three, four, five, six, look at that, works just great. And as you see, the underscore is completely ignored. So we don't have to worry about it. Like it's, it's not working like a comma, um, that we would have in, or, or a decimal point, as you would have in uh, many different uh, cultures, many different writing systems, many different countries. Um, it's just ignored altogether. So I strongly, strongly encourage you to use the underscore in your numbers. I found them to make my numbers way more readable, um, both to me and to the people who are going to be modifying my code. Okay, that's it for this video. If you have questions, if you have comments, don't hesitate to send them my way on Twitter, via email, and uh, don't forget to sign up for my free weekly Better Developers mailing list. Thanks a lot, and I'll be back soon with another video.